John Hewitt's a very important figure in uh, Northern Ireland literature and cultural history. He uh, is a poet and uh, was particularly good on both nature poets and on the poetry of identity, uh, particularly in the north of Ireland. Following that, the John Hewitt Society was established to remember his ideals, to put forward his ideas, and to push for the idea that Northern Ireland, Ireland, and the world can be a place that respects different cultures, that allows people to explore different cultures, and has fun doing it. I think um, poetry in particular has a role to play in, in this idea of the unfettered thought. Um, in many ways, I think, I mean, partly through the writing itself, you can, maybe, you don't know, you know, make things happen significantly, but you add a voice um, of change, of um, awareness, and it's important poets keep doing that generation after generation. So I feel it's my duty to contribute towards that awareness that minds are fettered and we are being controlled. And also I think poets beyond the poetry, the, the solitary occupation, the solitary occupation, say, of writing in your bedroom, there's the other role of when you go out to poetry events, you read, um, you take part in discussions. Um, on stage and off stage, and you have a kind of chance there to talk about um, your work and your ideas. What we're about is trying to promote the ideas of John Hewitt, the ideals of John Hewitt, and the idea that uh, you can, through art, through literature, through poetry, through film, uh, through a whole range of other media, you can explore issues about identity, about how people approach each other, how we work together, how we live together, which of course are very important issues in Northern Ireland, but are also issues that apply at an international level. It's been fantastic actually, it's lovely coming over from England, you know, Armagh is such a little town and so many people have come here and the level of literacy and enthusiasm is is so good, you know, there's so many people from so many different walks of life who have come here for a week um, and such enthusiasm for everything I think, for the playwriting workshops I've been taking, for the general prose discussions, for the lectures on aspects of religion and theology, for the readings, you know, it's been a really buzzy, interesting week. For the next book, I'm particularly um, keen to look at empire history. Uh, one of the things I've been working on in the first book was about Indians arriving to Britain and they're settling in. Um, and the second book, just sort of want, I want to go back a little bit and look at empire politics and, and try and take some of the imagery and the language from that period, um, so like Victorian period in particular in India, and bring that um, into the present and see how it relates to our relationship to the moment now. Hewitt is known well in Northern Ireland, less well known even in the rest of the island. Uh, and this is a source of some disappointment to us because we see the work that he does as fundamentally important. He was once asked what his identity was, and he said he was from Belfast, so he's a Belfast man. He was uh, also imbibed in the Ulster spirit, so he's an Ulsterman. But he was part of the island of Ireland and the greater Irish culture, so he's Irish. Also part of the British culture and also part of the European culture. And he said if you took away any of those different elements of his identity, you were taking away a part of him. So it wasn't that you had to be one or the other or, or any of British, Irish or Ulster, but that we are all an amalgam of these and that we should know this, we should work together on this. What the society would love to do is get across this idea, not just in a Northern Ireland or Irish uh, level, but throughout Europe, because there are constant issues still about what people's identities are, how we live together. And of course, we will live better together if we can honestly explore and discuss things. And the arts, particularly poetry and literature, are great ways of encouraging people to open up, uh, discuss their conceptions, their preconceptions, and to share the views of others. Uh -huh.